Northwestern State coming into Hoagland Ballpark Friday afternoon. Sean Rakowski was on the mound for the Jayhawks. He would have a good start today. Five innings of one hit ball, and it started in the second inning with some great defense, just great vision right off the bat and able to turn that double play in the top of the sauce. As the bottom half of the inning approached, the Jayhawks got the bats going that was led by Kamana Souza Palui with an RBI double. Coach Price was preaching to hit opposite field this game, especially against sophomore pitcher Colin McDonald, who came into the game with a 120 ERA. And the opposite field hitting will continue in the bottom of the fifth inning. The Jayhawks put up three runs, and it started with James Constantino, the freshman second baseman. Already some great quality at bats from him this season as this ball would bounce over the left field wall for a ground rule double. And the hitting would not stop there. Senior John Remick would keep the bats hot with more opposite field hitting as this was just deep enough into the right field corner for a triple. The team captain has been a leader for the squad this season and was a large addition to the Jayhawks' eight runs on the day. But the biggest fall in the night for the Jayhawks, and, it, and it's something that has been continuing, continuing from last season, is the landing pitching woes. And Blake Goldsberry came in top of the eighth inning and gave up two quick hits which will turn into two quick runs for the Demons. Velocity in finishing out games has been an issue all year for the Hawks pitching staff, but it wasn't near enough to trip up Kansas in this game as they won 8-2 over the Demons. Here's Coach Rich Price with his thoughts. I thought our guys did a good job of working a count. thought they did a good job of getting the fastball elevated and being on time. And, and then when we had two strikes, we did a nice job of, of taking the ball the other way, and which is something we haven't been doing the, for the last two weeks. But uh, I thought it was one of our better offensive performances of the season, if not our best so far.